This is a video to show you how to blow out a certain area of the screen uh, using iMovie version 11. Firstly I need to thank Newton's Law 777 on YouTube for helping me get a video out on time by using his method to blow out a certain area of the screen. Um, but I think I've found a better method one that's a bit easier. Hopefully. Anyway, here we go. Uh, I'm just using MySpace as an example. I'm going to show you how to do this right from the beginning to the end. So first of all, I'm going to record a short movie in iSpace. And in this movie I need to log in. Right, this is the information I don't want to show. So this is the area I need to blow out here. I've finished recording my original movie, so I'm now going to stop recording and save that. So now we want to start up iMovie. And I want to start a new project. Just call it blurring. There we go. Now we need to import the movie I just created. Here it is. First drag the movie up there, and we need to find the section that we want to blur. First thing you need to check in iMovie, if you go into the um, preferences, just make sure there is a tick in this box here, show advanced tools. Okay. I have my movie loaded up there with all the junk chopped out. Now I need to pick a section here. This is where my details are shown. The details I want to blur out. Uh, I just want to pick a different area because there's a mouse cursor right there. I don't want it there. I'm going to pick that one there. Now we uh, capture the screen, Command Shift 3. The next thing we need to do is to edit that screen capture. There it is, in a picture editor. I use GIMP, you can use Photoshop or anything else. But the first thing we need to do, make sure your background is green. Okay. Uh, next, we need to crop, so select tool, and we just select the green area, the screen area here, like so. Image, crop to selection. I just want to make it easier to see. There we go. Now find the area you want to blur and select that area and select your filters and you can blur, pixelize, do whatever you want really. I'll just stick to simple blur. See that's blurred now. Just undo that so you can see. It's not as clear as it was. Right, next step, select invert selection. Or control I. Next step, I just want to make sure the transparency is disabled. This is where it becomes different to the video I initially saw teaching me how to do this. 
because I don't want my background to be transparent. I found that didn't work in iMovie 11, for me anyway. So instead I'm going to have a green background. So if I now delete the background, you see we have green. Right, and just the blurred out section left behind. So we save that file, save as, so I don't overwrite the original. I'll just call it blurred for simplicity. now saved. Back to our movie. Now find that file in Finder. There's blurred. And we'd simply drag it over to where we want to put it. And we want to select green screen. Okay. There he inserts it. So it needs to now cover that starts there. Okay, you can see it isn't a hundred percent lined up for some reason. Uh, I usually select a slightly larger area to be blurred. But it, it does obscure it enough. I'll leave it to you to get to hundred percent. And we want that to go all the way to the end. There we go. Now I'll just play the clip to, from here to show you what's happened. As you can see, the area is nicely blurred there. Use your imagination a little bit, you can blur it in different ways. If you're a bit more accurate on cropping, you'll probably get the alignment uh, a lot better. I hope this video has been of some help to you and isn't drawn out too much. Goodbye from me for now.